Hey guys, so today I have an empties video. Um, there's actually a ton of stuff in front of me right now on my desk, so we are going to just jump right in. Um, what should we start with? I think we're gonna leave, ooh, nugs. I think we're gonna leave the makeup for the end. Um, that way if you have like watched all my project pans, you can just skip through that part. But I guess we'll just go down my desk like that and let's get into it. So first let's do body lotion, I guess. Um, I actually have two of these guys empty. So the first one is the Body Shop Mango Body Butter. These are minis that my mom, I think, sent me in a care package. So I used up mango and I also used up Setsuma. I think that's what that's called. And there we go. I will probably definitely be keeping these containers for, who knows, for something. Um, like depotting wise. Oh, there's... <laughs> Oh, her new thing right now is knocking everything off. Anything. She doesn't like anything standing up. She doesn't like anything on a table or a desk, so she knocks it all off. So, please don't knock it all off. I kind of have them in piles. Okay, so. She went over there. So, yes, I did. I finished off both of these body butters. I do really like them actually um i've been using body butters for a while now i've gone through multiple and i like them they smell really good they are definitely moisturizing and i would repurchase um i liked the mango scent a lot i wasn't a huge fan of this scent it's just like a perfumey orange scent but i thought it was okay so those are done Along the same lines, I finished off the same scent in the body wash. I couldn't get out the little baby amount at the bottom. Um, I did use the mango body wash, I thought, too. No, I didn't. It's still in my bathroom. Just kidding. Um, so, yeah, we finished off this body wash. I did really like this. These went pretty fast. Um, I think I tend to just kind of overuse them because they smell good. And another body wash. This is the Carez Tahitian Pomegranate and Coconutting and Coconut Milk. And this was exfoliating, um, meaning it had like a sugar scrub or whatever in it as well. Again, I couldn't get the last little bit out and I didn't feel like it. So um, I finished this off. This was actually decent. Um, I thought it smelled really good. Mm, yeah, it does smell really good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I probably, I would be rebuy this. I wasn't a huge fan of having, like, the scrubby bits in it, but it was fine. More shower products. We do have a shampoo and a conditioner. We have the Pantene Classic Clean 2-in-1 Shampoo. I, you guys know I love Pantene. Um, and then I also have the Radiant Color Conditioner. Uh, yeah, I've repurchased these already. I usually go for the color one just because I do have colored hair. Even though it doesn't look like it right now because it's all basically grown out. <laughs> um, another conditioner, actually. I finished this guy off. This is the Hair Gert Hair Mask. It's almond honey and it's an intense repair yogurt. That sounds disgusting. Why, Why would you name... <sighs> hair gurt a hair yogurt that just sounds weird this came in a boxy charm a long time ago i believe and i used it up it did not take me very long to use this up because i have a lot of hair when i use a hair mask i use a lot of product um i don't think i really noticed anything with this so i would not buy that and then last hair product we have the pantene conditioning hair mist this is a detangler leave-in conditioner i do like this I would consider re-buying this. Um, I just kind of buy whatever one I find. So that is all the hair products. Um, let's finish it off with my two more body products. We finished a body spray. This is the Havana Tropical Vanilla and Cherimoya Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I do really like this actually. I was using this every single day since I moved here. So it started out full when I first moved here in September and I just finished it. So it is tiny. Yeah, 
it smells good. Um, I'm not good with scents, but it's like florally, <laughs> tropically. Anyway, that is done. And then this one's kind of exciting. I finished off a perfume. This is my Viva La Juicy La Fleur, and it's completely gone. Um, I, again, was wearing this every day since I moved here. I was trying to use this one up because I got this, like, either sophomore or junior year in high school. So it's it was very old. Um, my parents got this for me for Christmas because I was obsessed with it, and I still really like it. It's a really good scent. Um, I would consider buying this again, like, if I found it at a Marshalls or something. Um, and, yeah, it, the liquid was kind of turning yellow, and I don't remember if it was yellow or not so that is why i pushed to use it up but i'll keep the bottle i always keep my empty perfume bottles that are cute like i've i have my prada candy at my house in new york because i wasn't gonna move with an empty bottle of perfume but anyway i will keep this it'll probably go up somewhere in my room when i eventually decorate back there okay we're speeding through we're doing good so far Let's do this one because it is kind of random. This is a hotel shampoo just from um, a random hotel that I stayed in on one of my adventures. And I use hotel shampoo to clean my makeup brushes. Um, if I have a hotel shampoo, I don't go out and buy hotel shampoo. But anyway, um, I that's just typically what I use. It's usually pretty clarifying and it is kind of harsh, but I feel like it does get out like foundation and stuff out of your brushes pretty good. Another like one-off product, we have a candle and this is a ginormous candle. This I think was just from Walmart. It is the pineapple lily scent. And this burned really good actually. Let me show you the inside. Literally it burned completely all the way gone. and. Like, I had to blow this out because it was no longer melting the wax around the outside, but it was still going, like, which I thought was crazy. Like, usually they burn out way quicker than that, but this one kept moving, so, but it's done. I'm now working on a new candle, and I'm excited about it. Pretty exciting over here. I have some makeup wipes, so I have two of the simple cleansing facial wipes. I like these. They are good. I have been trying to not use wipes, but I've been falling back into that pattern. So we have two empty ones. Here, go play with these. Go get them. All right. And then I have another one of these ones. These ones are from Dollar Tree. I think this is my last one that I have from Dollar Tree. And it's a retinol makeup cleansing wipe. These are okay, I only used these to remove swatches. I don't use these for my face at all. Here, Nuggy, go get it. Okay, last product before we get into makeup. And this is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser, and this is a face wash. And yeah, I finally finished this off. Come on, get out of the way. And I've enjoyed this. It's really like creamy feeling. It's definitely like more of a creamy consistency. It's not super like runny, <laughs> I guess. Um, and I thought this was good. I thought it worked fine. I wouldn't buy this though because I'm sure it's expensive. It came in a boxy charm. So I'm glad to have this guy done. And now I think we are on to makeup. Okay, so let's do the declutters first. So we have, I pulled out this Revlon Colorstay Moisture Stain in the shade London Posh. And I think I, I thought this was going bad. Don't knock that over. Yeah, it just, that just looks kind of gross to me. So this is getting trashed. I have a few more of these that I think I checked and I don't think they were terrible. So, I mean, I never use them anyway, so whatever. But this is going to be thrown away. And then we also have the Too Faced 
lip injection glossy in milkshake and I had this in my whole collection project pan and I used it once realized how much I hated it and decided to declutter it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet I'll probably set this off to the side with another one of these products to give to like a cousin or something my parents are coming tomorrow um and yeah maybe I'll send them home with my mom so this is the other product I'm going to get rid of. This is the Butter London um, Roll-On Liner. And this is the one that has like a wheel. And I'm never going to use this. I've tried it on the back of my hand and I hate it. So I'm going to give this to my cousin to play around with. They're just getting into makeup. So maybe they'll have fun with that. And then the last declutter is... This Clinique CC is what I wrote on it, and it's in there depotted. It's a foundation, I think. I literally cannot get the top off of this thing, so it's going to be thrown away because I just can't do it. So, And I think it was obviously just a little sample, so it's fine. And then the last thing that is like kind of a declutter-ish is um, my Stila packaging. Um, this is the Glitter and Glow in Into the Blue, and I depotted this into a container like this, and I have it as like a press, or just as a loose pigment now instead, because it's lost all of its liquidness. So, this packaging will now be garbage. Okay, now the actual empties. <laughs> we finished off an Urban Decay setting spray. This is the all-nighter in the old packaging. And I love this stuff. I'm definitely going to keep, I'll keep the bottle in case I need it for something. Probably as a spray bottle for this one because she's psycho. As you can probably tell in all my videos. But yeah, um, I love this stuff. I will eventually repurchase this one whenever it's on sale. I have my Makeup Forever blush over here. I finished this stuff a while ago. This has been sitting here for a while. But that is what it looks like. It is completely gone. And I'm excited to have a blush done. We have the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer that I had finished off in my project pan. All of this was in my project pan. Um, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but I did finish this guy off. I did like it. I have another one that's similar. It's in a, I don't know if it's the same exact formula or anything, but I have another one of those that I will probably use up soon. Another like face primer product, we have the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And again, this was in my project pan. I do really like this, but I'm not going to repurchase it because of the Becca situation um i guess maybe if i find it at tj maxx or something but yeah i do really like this though this was really good another becca product we have a mini of the hydro mist powder that is completely gone i took the little sifter thing out so i could get it all out and i will i'll probably keep this container i keep all my containers because i'm constantly depotting things and when I use things up, I put them in containers like this. That's quicker, easier access, you know. And another powder I finished is the Makeup Forever, what is this called? High Def Powder. And we finished this guy off as well. I like the Becca one better than this one. I have a full size of the Becca one in my stash, but I would probably not buy this one. I'm not a huge loose powder person. And let's see. Next, we have my Dandelion Dew Cream Blush from Benefit. This, again, was in my project pan. I did really like this, actually. Um, this was really nice. I kind of miss this one. But I still, like, I don't need to go out and buy anything. And we have my Chastique Mini Highlighter Stick. And this was completely scooped out. I like put it in a little container and use every last bit of it and I did really like this one. 
Last, we have two liners. They are both from Makeup Forever, even though you wouldn't be able to tell because they are both little nubs. So this one is a eyeliner, and I think it was in the shade Teal. It took me forever and ever and ever to use that one up. And then this one is the Clear Lip Liner, which I actually really, really liked, and I actually went through that one a lot quicker. But that was everything. I feel like I just ran a marathon through that one. That was so fast. But yeah, to the point, I guess. Most of that stuff I've already talked about in other videos. So I definitely recommend checking out my project pan if you want to see me use up these products. And yeah, definitely like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.